Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to share something with you today that is absolutely amazing and how it connects to end times Bible prophecy. God is gathering his people back to Israel. This is absolutely huge, folks. Look at the title of this article just in from All Israel News. Significant increase in Jews desiring to immigrate to Israel since October 7th Hamas attack. This is absolutely incredible. Let me read some of this to you guys. Israel's Aliyah and Integration Ministry reported on Tuesday, just a couple days ago, that there is a notable increase of people interested in immigrating to Israel since the October 7th Hamas attack, with the largest numbers of requests from France and North America. Of those considering the possibility of moving to Israel, the ministry reported a 149% increase in interest from Jewish French citizens and an 81% increase from North American Jews. Offer Sofer, the minister of Aliyah and Integration, said the Jewish state is ready to face what he called a state of emergency due to a 500% rise in global anti-Semitism, especially against Jewish youths on university campuses. France has seen an unprecedented uptick in anti-Semitic attacks in the past month since the war began last month. The number of incidents has risen above peak numbers that were recorded in 2002. Sofer says his ministry staff is prepared for a large wave of immigrants and a unified desire to support the state of Israel in the coming year of 2024. We are in a state of emergency, Sofer said in the ministry statement. The reports I have been receiving are very concerning. Our goal now is to strengthen the ties between us and support the communities that stand with Israel. Precisely now, we are seeing a surge in the number of people interested in Aliyah. The ways of unity and Jewish solidarity are bolstering the Aliyah movement and strengthening the state of Israel. He also said new immigrants would receive strong support when they arrive in Israel. The state of Israel awaits everyone, he added, inviting Jews around the world to move to the Jewish state. This is amazing, folks. So what we're seeing here is they're expecting as we go into 2024, Lord willing, unless Jesus comes first, we're watching every day on this channel. They're expecting a massive amount of Jews from all different parts of the world to come to Israel in the coming months. And like he said at the very end of this article, the state of Israel awaits everyone, he added, inviting Jews around the world to move to the Jewish state. Now, why is this so significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy? Well, folks, I want you to consider this. With anti-Semitism spiraling out of control all over the world, many Jewish people are now deciding that they would be safer in war-torn Israel under the protection of the IDF than they are in Europe and other parts of the world and are escaping while they still can. They are being hunted and hounded back to the land given to their fathers, just as the Bible said. In fact, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verses 15 to 16, we read the following. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands, whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land and that I gave unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. The regathering of God's people to their land is one of the most frequently predicted prophecies in the Bible. There have been Jewish people living there long before 1948, buying property and working the land, and the waves of immigration continue to pour in. Now, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 11, God promises, promised to stretch out his hand to regather Israel from the four corners of the earth a second time. 
The first time being from the lands of the Babylonian exile. In Isaiah chapter 11, verses 11 to 12, we read the following. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand against the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. We also know from the book of Hosea, chapter 3, verses 4 to 5, that this would occur in the last days. In Hosea, chapter 3, verses 4 to 5, we read the following. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return, and seek the Lord their God, and David their king, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. And in Amos chapter 9, verse 15, we read the following. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. And in Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 17, we read the following. Therefore uh, say, thus saith the Lord God, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. But I had to share this with you guys today. Again, God is gathering his people back to Israel. When I saw the title of this article, Significant Increase in Jews Desiring to Immigrate to Israel Since October 7th, Hamas Attack, and how in the coming days, weeks, and months as we go into 2024, Lord willing, a massive amount of Jews from all over the world are showing interest in returning to Israel. Folks, the Bible said that this would occur in the last days. This is just another sign of how close we are to the Lord's soon return. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything that's occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust 
in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.